You're playing your drunk cricket again with that shot. Oh, wow. I might have a little trundle as well. Last time out, I managed to have my first hit in about six months. This time, let's see if I can bowl my first ball. 2024. I might have a little trundle as well. Thanks for all the support on the last video. Just want to say that if you're new and you want to support me on this journey, click that subscribe button down below. You guys probably don't appreciate how much the support is spurring me on to make sure I'm fit for the content creators day and also fit for the season. So after last time and last time's net session, I was feeling very, very sore. I appreciate that when you guys are probably watching some of these, batting I'm actually feeling fine. I feel okay. I think that realistically, the adrenaline takes over when that ball's coming down to me, that my second nature kind of just kicks in. Um, however, after it, I'm feeling rough. Hopefully we're going in a step in the right direction and hopefully working through that pain isn't causing any more damage than I already have. Just finished doing my Pilates, and now it's time to spend some time with my best friend, the Theragun. So I'll be doing this along with icing, and that will probably be me for today. Right, grabbing out the other best friend. Here we are. This is a large shape, and also this little sleeve. I may have forgotten a few times and a few ice burns, but we make do. Once that's done, slot it in and forget about it for half an hour. I want to take a quick moment and catch your guys' attention and make you aware of a page which I've come across recently called Opening Up Cricket. They're a page on Instagram and through podcasts which talk about mental health and mental well-being in non-professional and professional athletes. I am very suspect of getting injured a lot myself so I do know the feeling of being left out of the squad and not being around the boys can affect you more ways than just not enjoying your cricket. This is a message basically to make sure you check up on your mates, make sure that if a lad does have an injury and he is potentially away from the boys, that you check up on them and make sure they are okay. Anyway, back to it and make sure that you check up on your mates. I might have a little trundle as well. Can do, yeah. I mean, it's gonna be literally the first ball I bob and it'll be very gentle. Fart a few out. I'm not sure it'll even be that fast, mate. I'm actually moving my feet now. So that's the first ball back. Oh, that's nice, mate. Oh, no, it's nice I just bowl. That's more, it's less effort. Just gently rolling in, first ball back. Genuine, mate. Oh, I get a hoit. Not bad. Hold the pose. You done, are you? Yeah, okay, maybe I only fired out. But this felt like a massive step in the right direction. Yes, it hurt, and yes, I still feel very sore after doing it. However, but this does feel like a big step to where I want to be. Oh, friends. Yeah, that's friendly, I like that. Remember we were off stumpy. Oh my word. Well, get some bales on there. How close is that? Out. Pushing back, pushing back, pushing back. Drag him forward. You're playing your drunk cricket again with that shot. I'm back. There he is. That is Tom Robinson at his finest. Problem is, I reckon everyone, if people watch this, they're going to know exactly how to bowl to me. Straight. <laughs> Oh wow, that's a lovely shot. Just to uh, let the viewers know there, in the naked eye, that's jagged back in and he's played that really, really nicely. Shot. Oh, that's jagged. It's a learn to leave, mate. No, sod that, mate. White ball cricket. Yeah, so he's just left the previous ball, taking me downtown ball. off length. Oh, that's, oh, that's freebies. <laughs> Can I get a snicker off your, your uh, bum there? Mate, if no? I'd snick off my bum, I'd be out so many times in the summer. <laughs> That's a lovely shot. 
Ah, oh, full beans, yes please. Sharp. Oh, stiff. Oh, yes. No. Oh, yes. build it. Get in there. After another couple of days of being very stiff after this net, it was time that I head down and went for another physio session where hopefully we can either get an idea of what it is, what it is that's causing me issues, and how long we can get on recovery, and is it possible for me to be fit for the season? Right, I'm just walking in now. Um, I am feeling rough today, I don't know why. Um, so, an 15 start ain't the one. Um, so, yeah, I think... I'll let you know, know how it goes and if there's actually any outcome. Bye, right, we'll catch you after. Right, I just got out. Um, yeah, that was sore and painful. I didn't get any footage when we were in there. Um, but fucking hell, it hurts, man. It hurts so bad when you have these things. I think they hurt more during in it than after and before. So basically, the, the conversation which was had was that realistically this could which is a bit scary really can take up to six months so i am three and a bit months in now so, you know to hear it's possibly going to be six months is a bit of a kick in the teeth um because six months would take me to june um which would probably mean only half a group season this year which is a bit rubbish but you know health is wealth and all you can't you can't do anything about it um i've just got to do my thing do my rehab to try and be to try and be fit for this year um and hopefully it happens quicker than six months because that would be a dream. The plan from here is that basically I think I'm going to be sent for some blood tests um, just because it's around the pelvis area. Sorry, I'm spitting everywhere. Um, so I'm going to have some blood tests and potentially an MRI scan uh, on my back just to make sure that we're kind of eliminating things um, and I might potentially have to have an x-ray just to double check the spine, um, which is also another kick in the teeth. But, you know, we're going to stay positive. We're going to keep moving. We have to trust the process. We have to carry on going how we are. Um, I will keep icing every day. I will keep theragunning every day to make sure that I'm fit for the 8th of March, which, to be honest with you, sounds like a really optimistic shout right now. But um, ah, you know if there isn't a target, you know, what else are we working for? So I'm going to do my best and I will catch you guys in a bit. To finish off this week's video, here is a few highlights from Brad's batting session from our net. And if you made it this far and you haven't clicked it already, click that subscribe button down below. Road to recovery, back on. Oh, that's an absolute chaffer. But the good thing is, too good for me. Oh, no. Hit it. Yeah, yeah we're brilliant. fielding. A shot. Oh, that's a gorgeous shot. Oh, well bowled. Yeah, well bowled. Oh, how is it? That's an absolute jaffa, but it's such Even a good that... shot. <laughs> My feet stayed like cinder blocks there. <laughs> I was like, what is going on here? <laughs>